How do you even start a video when you talk about one of the OGs? I mean, do we bring it back to my history with like an old friend watching her shift out of like an SI hot hatch looking thing. The shifter was up by the radio, it was uncomfortable. She had short arms, so it was like one of these, you know? Do you bring it back to the historical nature of the car that it brought to the automotive scene, okay? We could talk about an emotional, uplifting story, you know? It's been there. It's been a part of the scene longer than most of us has even have even really like been alive, all right? A thought in your dad's eye. It's been a genre of cars that has been huge in our scene and it could steal the hell out of some DVD players out of the back of a semi. I'm Alex, Alex.fi on Instagram, and today we're gonna be talking about one of the most popular cars out there right now. The car that we sometimes forget about until we see a clean one rolling down the street and we say to ourselves, damn, I kinda want one. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about the one, the only, the Honda Civic SI. And if this is the first time you're watching a Fitment Industries video, let me just say it like my girl Dora, okay? Hola! Don't forget to subscribe so we can keep making banging videos like this. And if you're looking for aftermarket wheels, tires, or suspension, be sure to hit us up over at fitmentindustries.com where we literally have everything, even a few deals on Airlift right now, okay? Airlift went live, they got their sale at the beginning of the year. We got it, it's awesome, it's banging that way. I don't know, I'm just excited because I'm gonna get some and I think you guys should too. And just so you know, we're doing a giveaway with ESR wheels. We're giving away a set of forged multi-piece wheels. So you can head over to fitmentindustries.com. You can pick up a windbreaker, a t-shirt, or a sweatshirt. Every $5 you spend gets you an entry and gets you automatically entered into win. It's like our biggest one we've ever done. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. The Honda Civic SI or Sport Injection was birthed into this world in 1986 and it was their version of fuel injection models back then that was pretty much it's pretty much enough to give it a good chunk of power you know and that was uh, that was that was it okay good good so you want well actually no the si was actually originally introduced in the good old crx but the civic si though it came with a peppy and existing 91 horsepower to 1.5 liter fuel injected single overhead cam inline four it was Honda's first take into fuel injection and offering the public more of a performance oriented vehicle. For the most part though, it was still in its infancy in little baby Yoda years, if you will. And that's pretty much all it needed. Now, as you jumped into the fourth generation SI, which came around in 1988, it had a whopping 105 horsepower to 1.6. And now Honda was cooking with a little bit of gasoline. It had a five speed manual, larger exhaust, bucket seats, stabilizer bars, a tachometer, color matching rear bumpers, and even an A-arm suspension on all four corners to give it better planting to the ground. Okay, the car was actually extremely well received and a lot of enthusiasts now, this is really where the Civic SI truly began to grow interest in the tuner world. Then the fifth gen came about in the early 90s and boy was it a banger, boys and girls. The SI has absolutely nothing to do with horsepower though and it's important you remember that because you're not gonna be excited about those numbers. It wasn't really even about the quarter mile, brother. It was about focus. The fifth generation really started to narrow this in because these cars were built with the heart of a high revving engine, slick gearboxes, and a sharp driving experience that would put a smile on your face. And this generation did that with nothing more than 125 horsepower out of a 1.6 liter engine. Five speed, manual, had a 9,000 tack with a 4,200 RPM redline. People really started to notice this because if you look back at the early 90s, if you wanted something JDM world, you're dishing out some serious cash, brother. The Civic SI, on the other hand, didn't have the bro tax, okay? And allow me to introduce my extremely credible resource, Ron, who's our oldest employee. He's 65,000 years old, 25 years in the military, and here's what he had to say about the fifth gen Honda Civic SI. The Civic SI hatchback was one of the most modifiable cars back in the 90s in Miami. He had a friend that had a 25 inch sub by Rockford Fosgate that was custom molded in the back. It was red, everything interior was white, okay? No tint so everyone could see inside. Roll cage was red inside. And people stopped tinting their windows because this car was so popular. It made his friend super happy, but then angry because everybody started copying him. So he ended up tinting the windows. I'm not entirely sure what that story has to do with anything, but I just figured you would know because the dude's like 80 years old and somehow he still remembers that. The following generation would be a personal favorite and existed for just a couple years. It would rev out to 8K RPM and it was the first time the Civic SI would come in a coupe. It would be the first time it would feature a dual overhead cam and it had a dialed in VTEC and this pretty much just slapped. 
If there's an SI to get, it's probably this one. And people would say that this is probably one of the most iconic SIs out of the bunch for new generation enthusiasts, because even though it wasn't a hatch, it still carried everything that made the previous generation successful and essentially just made it even better. The blue Civic SI is a, that's a banger. The Civic SI would continue generations after this, but would start to get a little bit weird. 2002 to 2005 had a tuned down 6,500 RPM redline and a good old dash mounted shifter, which was a little bit odd. The eighth generation went back to its roots though by bringing the RPMs back up and the budget down. Limited slip differentials, a decent horsepower to boot, made the car a banging front wheel drive sports car, okay? And this generation, it was big because it came in at under $20,000. That was huge for Honda back then. And allowed a ton of people to get into the fun car that packed quite a bit of punch, you know, while still being able to go to the 8 a.m. lecture without having to lose any money. Now, following generation, the ninth one, that wasn't that bad, but people usually started to stick around the sixth or eighth generations because they just were a little bit more fun. And now the 10th generation. Now that's probably the most recent one. It's got a turbo, limited slip differential, and the car touts a fun driving experience, okay? That's what the ads tell you. But a massively longer wheelbase than its predecessors and a little bit of a different driving experience than most would be used to if they came from any previous gens. So why spend so much time on these generations? Well, because Honda has always been at the forefront of being awesome. Like affordable, fun sports cars and their lineup that a metric ton of people loved. They were just like Fast and the Furious though. I mean, they haven't really always gotten it right. When you look at some of the videos, you're like, eh, it's a little odd. But we're not here to talk about the history. We're talking here about you wanting to own one, okay? One of these bad boys. So you want to own a Honda Civic Si. Well, drop your, your pre-calc homework, okay? And grab your favorite Honda hat because we're about to jump into what it's like to own one of these bad boys. The first few generations are bangers, but not overly common these days, okay? Picking them up is fun, but besides fuel injection and a slightly upgraded brakes, there's really not too much of current day fun you can do with these cars. A lot of the fun actually begins in the fifth generations from 1992 to 1995. The VTEC and the single overhead cam, 7200 RPM and a lightweight body made it a banging car to throw power at. So many people will slap a big old turbo on the front, throw some drags in there, and then every, just line up on every possible car, street, stop, light, turn, signal, everything you could possibly do to go next to another car and race, they did. And if you're looking for a car that can deliver some serious laughs and speed for not that much money with a few modifications, this is a generation. Not only that, but these cars aren't bad to look at. Throw some smaller NK or Koenigs on them and some Toyo tires, and my friend, we are set, okay? You can throw a 25 inch Rockford Fosgate sub in there, but that's a little weird. But if you want the generation that most people think is like the generation of the Honda Civic Si, then you'd probably be looking at the 1999 to the 2000 years. Some people don't like that the Si came in a non hatch variant, but it looks super good. The modifications for this generation are huge, and you can snag in the Electron blue paint, some Volks, a set of coilovers, and you're pretty much set. One of the best things about these cars is their price to modify. Honda Civic Si's are impossible to beat. They were built as a budget sports car. They're a Honda, which generally speaking makes them reliable. And at the end of the 90s was where they were truly in their heyday at the top. Now the 2002 to 2004 have some perks like coming in a hatch and a lower RPM range, but not people really like the lower RPM range. And it doesn't really have the same mass interest as the previous generations. Going through the generations of Honda Civic SIs in the 2000s and all the way up to the current generation with the turbo starts to really become a personal preference versus an overall performance improvement. The newest generation does feature a turbo, which allows some fun tunes, intakes, and exhausts while still having a comfortable budget-friendly car. But the Honda Civic Si has too long of a history to just generalize the whole thing within a few generations because each generation has their own pro and con. And when you look at them, some of them are almost entirely different vehicles that would make you think that it's not even a Civic. If you're looking for a new fun car that fits larger wheels like ESRs or BBSs or Volks, I mean, then the new generation is probably gonna do that. Hell, air suspension is on these cars is actually incredibly popular. As you jump into the late 90s though, it's all about period correctness and building something sleek and timeless. It's less about the new new and more about appreciating what Honda was capable of back then and dialing in that style. The older generations and their good old Bubble Wonder are unlike pretty much anything else out there right now. And it's awesome because it's still supported very heavily by companies. Fifth generation is pretty much just a Lego block. You can do just about anything you could possibly want to it. Owning a Honda Civic SI is for someone that enjoys having a fun car, but not one that takes away from the necessity of having 
well, a car, you know? It provides smiles and laughter without the pains of breaking down constantly or reliability issues. It's a car that can do pretty much anything without losing much at all. And it's a car that nearly anyone can jump into and has a massive community behind it to boot that's done just about everything to them you could possibly imagine. When it comes down to parts availability, it's one of the most well-supported cars that we have for wheels, tires, and suspension over at FitmentIndustries.com. And that can be said for performance as well. There's not many people these days that pick up a brand new SI due to the now current competition from focuses and things like that. But to those that do, a lot of them end up with a smile on their face. And if you go back to the early 2000s, I don't think you'll ever stop smiling. So what do you think about the Honda Civic SI? Let us know below and of course, let us know what you think. If you'd like us to talk about something different next, drop a comment below. And if you're looking for aftermarket wheels, tires, or suspension for your Honda Civic SI or otherwise, be sure to hit us up over at fitmentindustries.com where we literally have everything right now before tax season because once tax season comes through things get a little 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 wired okay a little tired around here and we deserve a little appreciation and if nobody gets the movie references i'm gonna cry anyway i'm alex from fitment industries we will see you guys later peace